Okay guys, I apologize for all the bouncing up and down, but I'm at Longwood and I'm here for a class this morning on floral design. It's my birthday and this is what I wanted to do. So I was here last night for a floral demonstration with my mom and there was a dessert uh, reception. And today we're learning how to do a floral canopy by an international, an internationally known uh, floral designer. So she's an African-American woman. Um, she does stuff I would never be able to afford. <laughs> Unless I won that, you know, that mega pot, you know, uh, jackpot. Uh, lottery thing. So I'm really excited. So as you can see from the picture I just took, they're actually setting up for Christmas. Oh wow, look at this. See, I love seeing this behind the scenes stuff. But yeah, they're putting up Christmas lights. So this is good. Okay guys, so it is Future Brook. It's during Christmas, which is why I've got my little headpiece on here. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you guys about um, this particular video. So I always have wanted to take some classes at Longwood and I'm not really sure why it took me so long. Well, I mean, a lot of it's just time constraints, but I decided to go ahead and start because especially for those of you guys who've been following me like on Instagram, um, you guys know that I'm going to be selling some flowers, excuse me, plants next year. And so the way I'm doing it is in a collection that are, is kind of like designed so, so that, I mean, it'll look nice in the garden, but even though it'll look nice in the garden, um, they can double as cutting flowers. So you kind of get a two for one kind of deal. And so I don't really know much about flower arranging. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to take some courses. And so the class that I took, decided to take at Longwood, I was, was being taught by, um, Erica Jones, I think her last name is, and she is the owner of Olux Designs. So she specializes in East Indian and actually South Indian weddings. And so if you've ever been to an Indian wedding or even um, an East Asian wedding, they're very elaborate, lots and lots and lots of flowers. And so it's a very luxe looking uh, wedding. And so that's what she does. And so when I took the class, <laughs> um, I did notice on the description that it was for, like you could get a credit for floral decorating and I still signed up for the class, and which is completely mental because I've never taken a, you know, design class before. I don't, that's not something that I do. And so I don't understand why on earth I thought that I was going to be able to go into this class having never taken a design class before. I mean, I, I've seen YouTube tutorials and that's pretty much the extent of it, but I signed up and I did it anyway. Um, so anyway, um, so I was the only person in the class who had no floral experience. Um, and I basically was like, yeah, I do gardening and I like doing like, you know, mussy tussies and, you know, things like from the language of flowers, but I've never done this. And so, you know, I've seen things on YouTube, so I kind of knew, knew how to prep certain things, but, um, like the container plus the, um, you know, like the, uh, the floral foam was already done. So I just had to arrange it. So we were doing a floral canopy. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen those magazines where, They've got, uh, you know, this whole canopy thing on over top of the table, either suspended from the ceiling or, or on a stand. And it's really big and that sort of thing. And it's designed to look like it's one huge piece. But in reality, they usually it constructed in things like, you know, this long. And then they put it together to make a big thing. And so that's what we were doing. And so, of course, with this, you know, you kind of want everybody to look similar because you want it to look at be a cohesive look. And so, um, the, the Erica was showing us what to do and then she would come down to help us 
to kind of look over what we did. So of course, because I had no floral design experience, she always started with me. And actually, I think the real only real comment that she made was at first, you know, when you're doing the when you're doing these designs, you always have to step back several feet so you can kind of see it, get some more perspective on it and see where the um, where the holes are. And so, you know, I was doing I think it was decent, but she was like, yeah, you know, you need to take a step back, like take, come back here, look at it and you can see better. And so, yeah, so I started doing it and, you know, after, I think it was like after the first two times, it was just like, she was like, okay. And she wasn't, you know, she wasn't floating around. Like, you know, I always had an issue when you come to that last flower, cause that putting that last flower is always like, where do I put this last flower? And so, um, but I was like, oh, this is kind of cool because I wasn't getting a whole lot of correction. She wasn't making me take things out. Um, interestingly enough, there was this woman there who had apparently was a trained florist in, I think a different country and came here. And there were times she had to rip out substantial amounts of stuff and redo it. So I never had to do that. So I was just kind of like, yay me. <laughs> And so Erica told me, like, I think you're the most creative person here. I'm like, eh, no, not really. But she was like, just take the compliment. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, so I guess she meant from the standpoint because, you know, everybody else had training and I had no training. And, you know, at the end of the day, I was, you know, keeping pace with everybody. So, um, but yeah, I, I, after it was all said and done, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I was so arrogant to be like, oh, I've never taken a, a floral design class, but I'm just going to go in here with all these professionals and do it. But um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. And so um, I don't know that I got video footage, but after we, the, we did the class in the, the, in the conservatory, it was a specific room in the conservatory. And so they took the, the flowers out back and I got to tour the back part. Well, I was really just driving through the back part of Longwood. I don't think I took any video footage of it, but it was really awesome. Um, so I made the suggestion, hey, you guys should give a tour of the backside of Longwood because that was pretty fun. Um, I was behind, you know, the conservatory. I was where the greenhouses were and I was just kind of going, oh my goodness, uh, this is great. So anyway, that's the first class that I took. Um, I did take another class. I think I do have some video footage a little bit of that. Um, I took a lot more um, snaps, you know, pictures because I was doing, cons uh, showing how I constructed things and I'm currently taking an online floral, de floral, floral design class, but it's, it's, it's a self-paced one. So you don't get credits for it. Um, but I'm actually learning a lot and I'm really enjoying it. So anyway, that's the backstory on, that's the backstory on, um, this class. And so I'm hoping with this video, I'm going to be putting pictures in. I've been having a real issue with, um, iMovie. Um, adding pictures and really not adding them. So I'm hoping this will actually work and you guys will be able to see the pictures. And um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm def I would definitely take that class, another class like that again. And so if you guys are near a, um, you know, a garden center or botanical garden or something, they have some classes, definitely, definitely, definitely sign up. Okay guys, so it's the next day. So the flowers are starting to bolt, which is normal. But I just wanted to let you guys see the scale of this. I'm gonna step in back. I've got it on the far lens. So my table is 10 feet long. So you can see how much space this takes up on the table. So it's actually a substantial arrangement. It's, you know, fairly wide. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, you know, I don't think I talked about like what we did. So. This one's a better example. So the way the petals are like back like this, this is called reflexing. So apparently that's like a thing nowadays. So to reflex a petal, you kind of turn it back, you know, kind of make it. You now there's like that, that slight curve at the base of the petal. You're stuck kind of like reversing it. So it's not behaving very well. Uh, but I even did it with this one. That's why it's out. You know, this is why it's so looks so open. Uh, the red ones, we didn't reflex. So, but yeah, so this is stock. It doesn't have a scent. Uh, Delphinium, obviously. Uh, this is uh, Spray of Roses. This is Scabiosa. Uh, let's see. And I saw some ranunculus in here. Oh, this is a nice big Scabiosa. 
I gotta figure out how to get my scabious like this. Mine are always, the heads are always small on mine. Um, I forgot what the greenery is called. Um, and these types of arrangements, um, Erica says she likes to use three different types of greenery. So there's this greenery like at the base. I think it's called like lemon leaf or something. I'm trying to think if I can get close enough to it. Like in here. And then, oh, this stuff is called Smilax. Uh, but this was this is what we used to hide the the stand everything was sitting on and then let's see we put some uh fern in here and then what was the last green we used oh it was this right here so i'll have to think, i'll have to remember keep that in mind when i make my own arrangement is to use diff three different types of greenery and yeah so it was a fun class We'll definitely do it again. And so for those of you guys who've never taken a class at Longwood, uh, I would recommend that you do so sooner rather than later.